Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here at Windy City Rails again with Brian Lau, who is, if you're in the Ruby community, you've, you've probably heard some of his talks or some of the fallout from uh, some of his Twitter uh, conversations with a certain other uh, uh, person who's well known in the Ruby community. Uh, one thing is, is you've, you've been around kind of forever in the, in the community, um, and, and you've presented at many, many conferences. Over the years, how, kind of like how have you seen things evolve or, or change in the community? So, so here's a here's a good way of putting it. Uh, so let's go back. Let's start at the beginning of Rails, 2006. I mean, really, the first Rails comp. There was there was the Canada on Rails before. We'll not talk about that one. So at that point, we were we we just learned that we were on something, and then as the years progressed, we learned how to do something with that, and then as the years progressed, we got even better with it, and um, now. Um, not only are we good at it, we're good at making money with it. Yeah. So I think that's actually, we've basically evolved from, hey, look, we have a cool toy. Now, look how much our toys make us. Yes. So it's, it's, it's kind of matured from, oh, this is a fun kind of hobby, neat, we can do cool stuff, to we can do cool stuff and make money making cool stuff with the tools we like. Right. We are actually living the dream. How many people actually can say, hey, my hobby is my job. And yeah. by the way, I pick, paid a lot of money to do it. Yeah. And if I didn't like it right here, I could actually pick up, I could pick up shop and move somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Not many people can do that these days. Yeah. And with, with, the, uh, with the conferences, though, in particular, um, you know, audiences mature. You, I mean, even I've only been coming to Rails conferences for a few years, and I can see changes in the audience. Uh, has that affected, uh, like, um, your perception of, of working with the Ruby community? Or well, um, some... I mean, what, what's what's going on now is that um, when we were when we first started, we were all getting good together. But now, um, a few years in, um, actually at RailsConf the last couple of years, I just been getting giving beginner talks and the reason yeah. why is because there's so many people that we forget that not everybody has been doing this for a long time and not everybody actually thinks like us and mm -hmm. even understands why we think like we do so we need to give those lessons to those people so I mean that's actually a really big thing to show how we are maturing is that hey there's a lot of people who don't know how to do this and have never even heard of rails before this year or last year wow yeah. and you know and also you 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 speak a lot of conferences have you, do you have much experience working, uh, speaking at uh, user groups? You know um, what, um, local, I've actually spoken at user groups in a few states, yeah. and actually across the pond mm -hmm. over in Europe. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm actually approaching my 20th conference talk. I, I do think, I, I think I'm approaching that. It's actually, I've spoken a lot, and actually, now I, so I spoke today about ZSH, which has nothing to do with Ruby. Yeah. Um, I'm actually speaking at the beginning of next month in Belgium at R camp, and I'm speaking at RubyConf, and I mean... Now, R, do you mean R is in the, the platform, or...? No, oh. R is in... Hey, matey. <laughs> <laughs> no, R is in pirates. pirates. Yes, yeah, as okay. in pirates. It's a Ruby conference in Belgium, and that's when I hear it's very good. My first time there. They're flying me there. It's pretty awesome. Okay. So, uh, having spoken at user groups, uh, Versus speaking at, do you, do you ever use uh, like try out material? One thing that I've heard people do is they like no, to try out material. No, no, I'm like Jay Z. I don't even practice my talks. I said I practice my talks. I don't practice my talks. I never do. I get up there, and the only part you notice that I didn't, I didn't even think about is the part that I was actually reading off of my tablet because yeah. I just thought of it. I actually write my talks about a week ahead of time. I actually keep notes for months ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I write the talk about a week ahead of time, and then I look at it before I talk, and I say, you know something? I know what I'm talking about. Let mm -hmm. me just go up there and have a conversation with the crowd. And that's yeah. what I did. Everything, most of that talk was unscripted. Yeah. Yeah, so you like to just, I mean, a lot of people, you wouldn't recommend doing that. I mean, no. that, I mean did you start off being kind of like I'm going to wing it kind of guy? Well, no, here's or? why. I have a different outlook on talks. Mm -hmm. um, you either you're coming to educate. And you're coming to entertain. Most people forget about the entertain and they try to educate. You know something? In 30 to 45 minutes, I'm not going to teach you much of anything. But if I, t if I tell you about a whole bunch of cool stuff that you could look at, and then I tell a joke or two, you're actually going to remember, hey, remember that funny guy from that conference? Hey, what was he talking about? Yeah. Oh, Brian said that. And, yeah. that. and that's what it is. It's actually using the humor and using the, the personal, like, I feel like I'm talking to you because I am talking to the crowd. I feel like it's a, it's a mutual thing. But I use that to actually get my point across. Well, yeah, and it's 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 how you got to be known as the T T A T F T. Is it? 
But I don't. Yeah, I mean, like I, mean, I people like I, people know that. I mean, because it's it's memorable and it's a hook. I mean, it, it is a hook, and actually, that was the whole point. The whole point. I, so that was the second time I gave that talk. I actually gave it a little bit more serious the first mm -hmm. time. I was talking about why people should be testing, and then I gave it again as a lightning talk. So I pared the talk down, and I said, you know, something. This is a lightning talk. I only have like five to ten minutes to give this. So every other slide, I just put test all the fucking time in there. <laughs> and it was like it was like really tiny type. Yeah. Every single time. And, and you know, people were like by the tenth time they saw it, they're like, oh my God, this guy's a nut. Yeah. But you know something? It worked. Because I'll tell you what, someone mailed me a shirt. Yeah. Actually I've had two shirts mailed to me now with that logo with on that there. On there. And it's like, you know, something that's it's great that I was able to inspire people mm -hmm. to, to do this. And that's why I continue coming out and talking at conferences. Okay. Well, you know, again, I want to just thank you for taking a few minutes to talk with me. Well, really thank appreciate you. what you've uh, done. Well, so, thank you. 